So Max, what exactly happened here? So what happened here is, as, as prosecutors called it, uh, it was a very old school crime with kind of a high tech MO. So basically this, this uh, Xbox uh, store engineer, so this is someone who's working on Microsoft's online store, figured out that he could basically get an unlimited number of gift cards printed up. And then he figured out a very clever way to, uh, to turn those gift cards into cash. You know, normally, uh, like, like many companies, Microsoft uh, operates its own sort of virtual currency. It, prints, it creates these codes, which can be used to either buy, you know, games, like Xbox games, content, virtual goods, but also, you know, physical goods, Dell laptops, Sonos speakers and basically figured out that there was a loophole in the way Microsoft was handling its sort of internal testing that allowed him to just create an unlimited uh, number of these. It's as if he found his own you know, Microsoft uh, currency printing press. Right, there's an interesting quote in your story uh, where uh, a colleague says that basically Microsoft left the doors to its own vault completely unlocked. That said, why did it take Microsoft so long to figure it out and how, how you know, at what point and how did they eventually catch him? Right. So the, the, the crazy thing about this is, is, yeah, like you said, that, it, that it, it, the fraud was so big before it was found out. The other thing that's kind of interesting is they assume this was some kind of sophisticated, you know, outside hacker. Uh, it turned out, inside, you know, employee who was basically just guessing his colleagues' passwords. A lot of these test accounts had passwords like, you know, secret one, two, three, four. I mean, things you really, you know, you really hope that like a big company like Microsoft, that, that kind of thing wouldn't be happening. Of course, they didn't realize this bug was possible. Um, the other thing is he, you know, he made some kind of classic mistakes. He had some stuff shipped to his house. He used a computer that he had used to do the uh, illegal stuff to like log into his work computer. Um, what's, what, it, what is interesting is, you know, the role that crypto played here. So what he was doing is buying these codes, then going on to a website called Paxful.com. Now, this is a marketplace for digital goods. You can um, sell and buy gift card codes for all sorts of stores, including Microsoft. And for a long time, they weren't really doing any of the normal, you know, anti-money laundering things. Now, this is, it, it doesn't sound like money, but it, it kind of is money. And that, and that kind of misunderstanding was, at, you know, at the heart of this fraud. Then he was, you know, turning it into Bitcoin and laundering the Bitcoin through a, uh, uh, a, a sort of mixing service where it takes some, you know, crypto and changes it for other crypto. And the bottom line is it, it more or less cleans the digital currency. Um, that wasn't how they found him. They found him because of mistakes he made in the real world.